Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. It is that time of the week once again. It's, it's felt like that time probably multiple times this week for most of us, but it's shard pulling time. And uh, well, let's look at the events first of all. So this is the Summon Rush event. Um, and as we can see, when we look at the Summon Rush, first of all, it's a massive one up to 10,000 points. That is huge. Uh, you've got Lunar Points in here. Lunar points down here, and in fact, goes all the way down to 4,100 points for the lunar points down here. Then when you go beyond that, yeah, there are some good rewards if you go really deep. You know, we've got an Eternal Soulstone, three Mythical Skill Tomes, but like that's a huge amount of points. That is absolutely crazy. Um, so yeah, now, <laughs> it's sort of a theme of this. Like if you think about it, like a fusion, you know, you would be hoping a good fusion, in my opinion, would be one that would require this many points and that's it. Now, sometimes they do go higher, very rare even for a fusion. They do sometimes go as high as 4,000 and, and those would be considered very difficult. So these are difficult lunar points to get for most people. Now, if we come at the Artifact Enhancement event, which also went live today, 5,600 points for these lunar points. Um, You know, uh, the Dungeon Divers is rough as well, almost 4,000 points. That's pretty rough. Like every everything is hard. Everything the monster path, let's not even talk about that. That was really difficult. Everything is difficult. All of these lunar points are difficult. None of them are easy to get. They're all requiring crazy amounts of points. Um so honestly, this lunar titan event for the five star soul, it's sort of reminding me in a big way of Tormen, except instead of getting a void legendary, you're just getting a soul for a champion. I don't know. I'm I'm so conflicted about this. I'm very conflicted about whether to do it or not. Like you know, because I can do it and because I'm a content creator, I probably will do it. But like, there's a very reasonable chance I walk away at the end of this and go like, man, it's nice to have, but maybe I'll never use her. Or like, she'll be used for one or two Cursed City bosses or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if she will actually be used. Uh, so it's a lot to put in for something like that. So again, for me, because I can do it and it's not that much of an impact, really, it is a bit. We'll talk about that with the shards. But I can do it. It's not so bad. But I mean, if you were earlier in the game or if you're like totally free to play, you're not, you know, I've been playing for three years and I do spend a little bit. So I'm in a different situation. But like if you're going, man, I can't complete this event. Like, don't sweat it. Like, seriously. Or if you decided to skip the event, you know, that's a great choice as well. It's like, yeah, sure. You'll miss out on the five star soul. And that, that's a, a good thing to get. But you can live without that. And the amount of resources and work you're going to have to put in to get there really is staggering. There's a lot to be said for just enjoying it and not doing it. Like, anyway, anyway, let's take a look. So what am I going to do? For me, I skipped 100 points in the monster path. Um, so I actually, I did a lot, right? I got the 40 points here. I got the 40 here. I got the 100 here. And I actually went for it for Al Al Alatreon or Alatreon. And my God, it was such a grind. Dear Lord, like I'm all grinded out now. It was uh, not pleasant. I, I will say, by the way, um, I think people have the, the absolute wrong criticism of this event. The absolute wrong criticism. What I see a lot of people say is, this would have been fine if I could pull shards for it. Uh, which for me, okay, I think that's absolutely wrong. That's a euphemism for, just let me give you money. Let me throw money at this problem and it's not a problem anymore. And I could not disagree more couldn't disagree more. For me, I actually think that there is zero problem with having basically a guaranteed be behind, you know, champion training or summoning souls like this. I think if the shards were in there as an option, I think that's that's fine as well. I've got no problem with the option. But I think being able to or in supposed to be able to get a champion from champion training, totally fine. Zero problem. My problem is with the points. Like if you halved the amount of points you needed to get this, it still would have been pretty intensive, in my opinion. So that's my problem. No problem with having a guarantee behind champion training. Uh, a lot of people, I saw a lot of people saying it's actually a great thing that it's available through champion training. You don't need to be buying shards to do this. Uh, and I actually do agree with that. Uh, but the points are way too high. Uh, sort of the same with this Titan event. My general vibe on it is, in theory, it's fine, but the points are just way too high. Um, but anyway, I skipped 100 points there. We can skip 250 points total. I think I'm going to skip the 150 in the Summon Rush. Uh, I'm definitely going to do Champion Chase next weekend. I'll talk about why in a second. It's a little bit, I don't know, like, because there are good rewards between, like, 6-star Chaos Ore, 
200 eternal coins and immortal soul stone they're decent rewards on your way up to get this and there are good champions in this progressive chance so you know it's it's not the worst thing but i think we're gonna put in obviously harima uh, i guess i'll put in a taragi doesn't matter um i think we'll do it like that you know over here i've got a Crisk. i put in grisor and frenzy i think and i'll probably do that anyway like yeah, I think we'll do probably four sacreds and a couple of voids and and call it there. Uh, we also have my summon pool to do because I did get these just from events. We're going to be five short of a fourth summon, but hey, it is what it is. We're going to do three summons as well of that. Now, my plan for the champion chase is probably to just summon up a bunch of these fragments that I've been waiting for ages. In particular, because I've been looking at the Cursed City and like we t did a video talking about the challenge of this yesterday in the feedback form like again i've reached uh on hard some of these are really nasty like this floor s21 is horrific horrific what is the problem with s21 well like we've got just briefly mother cybel uko senatia we've got a whole bunch of aoe champions with not really any much option not to bring them in and what are we fighting in wave one that aoe might be bad against well, let me tell you, we're fighting a Duchess and double Mortu Macabre. So all ha ha you just have to have one of those Mortus one time, proc peril, and your run your run's done, right? Game over. So I I ran I spent a couple of hours trying this and trying some different builds, and it's just just not doable really. Uh, but interestingly enough, uh, if we look at this, I did see some people that have done it. It, it is, you know, well, I, I shouldn't say it's not doable, but it's very difficult. But a lot of people using this guy, right? The Doom Tower Dwarf, he's coming into it. Doom Tower Dwarf as like a AOE HP burner. He's not essential, but like he really is. He's showing up in some runs. So I'm thinking I'll get the Dwarf to help with that. There was another stage where uh, I saw a Vassal. Of, I can't remember which one. I think, was it this one? I think this one, Vassal of the Seal. Look, the, the other Doom Tower guy, he's coming in. So like they're making these bad fairly bad doom tower legendary let's say fairly bad with, with vassal he's okay Granjar is just bad but they're making these doom tower legendaries actually important in cursed city so i kind of want to get them out of the vault because they, they are out of the, the pool because they will actually be useful now but anyway that's a bit of a rant aside we'll look at that next weekend i just thought i'd throw that out there so my plan is to do champion chase next weekend probably get all the summon points there just from using probably fragments look let's start off let's go in with the summon pool first of all 5% chance for Legendary. I've got Oella and Islin. I wouldn't really want those, but I don't have the other four. So any of those would be great. Um, I think I'm missing a Maruka. That would be nice, I guess, to get from this. And apart from that, I think I don't want any of the other epics, really. Neldor would be one people would be looking for, for sure. Let's go in. We've got three attempts. Any Legendary would be great. I've never gotten a Legendary from... From one of these, there's a budget Draco Morph. Drake never got legendary from a summon pool. They're the most cursed events. Oh, and it's a blood feast, blood feather, blood feaster, blood feather. Final one. Can we break the curse? Nope. Nope. The epic string continues. Luthia, again, for me, until they add a mercy system to the summon pool, this is just not something I'm going to go for. Um, yeah, like that's the thing with with shark. The, in terms of of spending money, which is really the only way to mostly compete, that was actually a decent one. I got to do three pulls for free, basically, which is nice. Well, not free, but you know, from earned in game uh, by playing the game, that's pretty great. Actually, I'm fine with that. That's a decent event. Just to to take not very seriously is free, but like for something to spend money on compared to shards, like you know, in theory, statistically, you might get slightly more out of it than shards but the shards are also letting you build up to mercy which i think really counteracts it the shards are letting you participate in in other events as well so for me shards are better anyway let's go in we've got 15 sacreds low on sacreds guys harima is definitely my pick here uh let's see what we can get deathless not any use to me there's a few epics i do need as well for lady mikage so any of those epics would be great just saying Ah, uh, Kunoichi, don't need her. 25, can I actually, I actually don't want Taragi. Can I remove Taragi? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, that, that sucks. I would have liked to actually not have Taragi in there. Nah, it doesn't matter too much. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, for Sacreds, there are two Sacreds coming up in Doom Tower hard for fully clearing that. So that's sort of my plan there. Okay, we get two Sacreds back. I'll be back up to final one. Oh, epic. 
Boo, boo. Now, Yorg is, is great. He's a great one to have. I do have him, but he's a great one to have. So I've got 11 sacreds right now. We've got two more coming from Doom Tower Hard. We'll put us back up to 13. Uh, so saving those up for the fusion and a potential guarantee. Like, do you think there's a guaranteed or something like that coming in? I think it's certainly possible. There's been so many shard events, like throwing in a guaranteed in there as well. is something they could totally do. Hey, we got the frenzy. We got that. Wow. Okay. 15x working for that one. It works for the one you don't want, huh? And we got ourselves a rare. That's fine. Uh, we got ourselves a Fellhound. Very nice. Right. So that should put us pretty much done. 50 short. Uh, no, no, we need one. Sorry, we need one more. Let's do one more void. Sorry, I miscounted. One more void, and then we will have skipped this. So we one more void. This is the legendary. Here it is. It's coming. Here's the Grizzor. I believe. I believe. Ah, oh, no, it's it's a amarantine skeleton. Is amarantine like a type of a purple gemstone or something? I don't know. Probably it does look that way. Right. So there we go. Slightly overshot. That's fine. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So that, that's where we're at with Titan points. Ooh, some energy, some lesser oil. That's all fine. Fire. There's some decent rewards here along the way, like the, the whatever the 100 lesser oil is. You know, that's okay. A big chunk of energy. It's not too bad. All right, and we are on our way. We'll certainly be getting the Mythical Tome. I'll definitely get that. Like, it's always possible that they could put out even more shard events, and I will end up skipping them. But at this point, we're probably committed me to going for the perfect soul no we shall see but that's how we're at that's where we're at that's how it went um that's us the soul stone pool is all used up i mean you could uh, you probably you won't have time it'll be over but i could have got the 200 coins and could have gotten eternal which would have helped if i'd been stuck on the uh, monster path but that's not something we're going to do i'm going to save the eternal for the next event could use it to grab these but there's nothing else really much worth grabbing the legendary tome not in a massive rush for like i can wait to get those lots of champs need them but we can wait but yeah, there you go those are my pulls uh someone pulled doing me doing me the same as it's always done and not much luck from these we've got an okay we've got tons of ancients but we are quite low on sacreds in particular i would say sacreds is pretty rough so like if there's a guaranteed for sacred sacreds are so expensive that's rough a guaranteed for voids like i would consider buying some void shards for it but Man, guarantee for sacreds would be in a, in a tough spot. We'll see. Let me know what you think is going to happen. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Hope you had better luck at your polls. Goodbye.